Hello? Oh, there I am. Good evening, everybody. How are we all feeling out there? Ready to hear some music? All right, we are the King Philip World Percussion Ensemble. We're thrilled as we are every year to be here. We have a gorgeous night for it, so let's get to it. We have a lot of uh, music planned for you of all variety. We have some island tunes, tunes from the Caribbean, where these instruments are from. We also have some jazz music and some pop music planned for you. So let's have some fun. This first one is a medley of island tunes. Some of those tunes you might have heard before. Jamaican Farewell is a popular one. And then we go right into the Everywhere Calypso. Have fun, enjoy, thank you. Thank you. 
doesn't sound out there, okay? Nice. Every year we're very, very fortunate to have join us members of the El Caribe Professional Steel Drum Ensemble, which is out of New Bedford. Uh, the two gentlemen who traveled from New Bedford to join us tonight are Chris Cardesi and Lee Dias. Let's hear it for these guys. And then all the way from Maine, former student and teacher of King Philip High School, Mr. Tim Seppi. So throughout the program, you'll hear from these guys soloing as they do so well. We're going to slow it down for you a little bit. This is called Besame Mucho.
Chris Cardesi on the double seconds, everybody. Chris Cardesi. Steel drums come from Trinidad and Tobago. Both Lee and Chris have been to Trinidad. Chris has been to Trinidad six times, five times, maybe six this year. And he's been in the winning Panorama Band. Panorama is the big festival. It's almost like drum corps for steel drums. And he's been in the winning band twice. Yeah, so he's an impressive dude. Chris Cardesi.
How about a hand for Melissa on the flute starting us off there? Did anybody recognize that song? That was called Watermelon Man by Herbie Hancock. Herbie did a lot for jazz. He's a jazz pianist, uh, particularly jazz as it relates to rock and funk and fusion and all that stuff. So we like to play different categories of music aside from just Calypso in this band. Speaking of Calypso, we're going to give you two Calypsos right now.
<laughs> I'd like to quickly pay some respects to our sponsors here. We are sponsored tonight by Danielle Roachfort Realty Group with Berkshire Hathaway Page Realty and Stonebridge Homes. That's a lot to say. I hope I got it right. Thank you for the sponsors. Thank you to all of you for being here. Are you having a good time? Yeah? If you like dancing, if you feel like dancing, feel free, please. We're going to play a samba for you right now. It's called Reunion.
this is an exciting few days for us because tomorrow and Saturday we play a gig that we play every year. We play for the Pan Mass Challenge Bike Race. Show of hands, who knows of the Pan Mass Challenge? Okay. So it's really, really fun. We get to go out to Sturbridge tomorrow to play for the opening ceremony. And then on Saturday we get to go to Cherry Street in Rentham. They've been having music on Cherry Street for the race for almost 20 years now. And we've been fortunate to be a part of that for almost approaching a decade. Um, so it's a lot of fun, and uh, that's why we do all those medleys, one tune that leads into another, because when we play for the bike race, you can't really stop, because you have an audience that's changing every two seconds, and they want to hear music. So it's a lot of fun for us, and we're very, very fortunate to do that. So we get to practice our stuff on you guys first. Aren't you Nick? This next song is a very popular tune in the Latin jazz category. Uh, it was written by an Afro-Cuban conga player named Mongo Santa Maria, and was made popular by two jazz vibraphonists. Cal Jader was the first. He, he was popular in the 1950s, around there. And then later, Gary Burton, world-famous vibraphonist, uh, really attributed to inventing the four-mallet technique. And we're playing his version of that song. So this Latin jazz standard has really stood the test of time. This is called Afro Blue.
Hey, how about a hand for these guys? That's the best they've ever played that. I'm just being honest. That's hard stuff. It's proven to be very hard stuff, and we nailed it that time, man. That was great. Anybody out there know the tune Lowrider? Nope. Clap if you know the tune Lowrider. Uh, starts with a cowbell. You gotta have more cowbell.
King Philip Rock Percussion Ensemble, everybody. Was that rocking enough for a bike place, you think? Yeah? All right. I'd like to remind everyone, if you already knew this, um, I can tell you that we're a community ensemble. Uh, we operate out of King Philip High School, but you do not have to be a student to sign up for the ensemble, obviously. We're very diverse in uh, range of age here, so um, young, old, whatever, in the middle, we'd love to have you sign up if you're interested to learn steel drums. Um, also, what, you're, what you will hear later in the evening is African drumming. Uh, we like to study African drumming all throughout the year, from December to May, and then in the summertime we just focus mainly on the pan thing. But, um, again, we'd love to have more members, and we are a community group, and we'd love to have you. This next tune, Paul Simon, right? That lead me. Okay. Paul Simon fans out there in the audience? This one is one of his very, very popular ones called Late in the Evening.
Well, we have a couple more tunes for you before we segue into our African drumming portion of our show. This next one is uh, Calypso. Calypso is the traditional music from Trinidad and Tobago. Calypso and another style called Soca. That's where the steel drums were invented around the late 30s, early 40s. Um, so the steel drum, if you didn't know, is the youngest acoustic instrument invented. The youngest acoustic instrument. This next tune is called Nora.
King Philip World Percussion Ensemble, El Caribe Seal Drum Ensemble. So we're going to do a little encore of sorts for you. Every year we really love to play a song called Pan in A Minor. It's a really nice tune. It actually is one of the first songs in Calypso literature that is in a minor key. You get a, you get a lot of happy sounding things in Calypso. This one is kind of cool. It's a little hip. It's, it's uh, in one of those sad minor keys. Um, this year we didn't really have time to work it out though. So I know that the band really loves to play it every single year. And I knew that I wanted to feature the El Caribe guys on something. So I posed the question, if you feel like you can do it without a rehearsal and be in there with our sound, then you're welcome to play. And look how many fearless warriors signed up. I'm proud of these guys. I'm really, really lucky to work with this group of people. So thank you guys for listening. Enjoy Pan and A Minor.
Lee Dias on the lead steel drum, Chris Cardacey on the double seconds, Tim Seppi on the bass steel pads, Woo! and the King Philip World Percussion Ensemble, everybody. Thank you, thank you. We're going to take a short little segue over to the West African Instruments, and we'll be right back with you. Thanks. Okay, everybody, we have one last number for you. We're going to play some drumming from Ghana. Ghana's in West Africa. And what we're going to play for you is actually a combination of multiple pieces, um, sort of groove rhythms that all contribute to a style over there, a sort of greater genre called High Life. And High Life essentially is uh, pop music. It's when you take traditional rhythms from traditional instruments like this, and you combine those rhythms with saxophones and keyboards and bass, and you, you make band music. So we've decided to title this piece Highlight, as it's sort of a mishmash of different styles. Uh, we're gonna make this sort of auditorily educational for you a little bit. Uh, we're just gonna take our time and layer in every single instrument so you can hear all the many different layers of rhythms that are going on and interacting, uh, and even tell you the names of some of the instruments as we go. So hope you enjoy. We, we've enjoyed you very much. Thank you all for coming out and supporting us every year. We really love being on this show. This is Highlight. We're going to start with our main bell called Don Kogu. The next drum to add in is commonly referred to as the talking drum because you can manipulate it to sound like a voice. Ding, 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 ding. The next two instruments are called tamalin. They're, they look like frames, so they call, they're called frame drums. Let's hold up the banana bell. Show them the banana bell. Can you see why it's called the banana bell? Couple more really cool bell rhythms on the end here.
already sounds pretty cool, right? We haven't even added in the drums yet. Conversation in the ground. Tiggy ding, boom, tiggy ding, boom, tiggy ding, boom. 